Hillary Clinton breaking her silence on the Mueller report. Look at this. It's enough there that any other person who had um, engaged in those acts uh, would certainly uh, have been indicted. What I thought it was saying is, look, we think he obstructed justice. Here are 11 examples of why we think he obstructed justice. But we're under the control of the Justice Department, and their rule is you can't indict. But some have said she was actually let off the hook by the Department of Justice from that whole email thing. Former Whitewater Independent Counsel and former federal prosecutor Robert Ray joins us right now. You're in Studio F. Good morning, Robert. Good morning. Is she right? Is that the reason that Mueller found what he did? Because there's a DOJ uh, ruling that you can't indict a sitting president? The report raises a reasonable question about whether or not that was so. That was why the attorney general before the report was released to the public, mm -hmm. went back to the special counsel, apparently on more than one occasion, as he said in his press conference, to inquire about, let me sh be sure I understand right. this. Are you saying? And the answer that came back is, no, that is not what I'm saying. So I, I, I know people in some quarters don't want to listen to what the attorney general actually said, but while that is a reasonable question, uh, Hillary Clinton has it exactly wrong. That is not the reason. But at the same time, uh, had she not set up that private email server at her house to skirt the State Department uh, rules, she'd probably be president. I think that there was obviously, as we now know, lots of discussion in the Justice Department about how it was a, uh, you know, appropriate to resolve that mm -hmm. investigation. If you recall also, there was a scathing op-ed piece by the former Attorney General Michael Mukasey shortly right. before the election saying he couldn't understand why under the relevant statutes, the reasons that uh, you know, Jim Comey indicated while in a, a prosecution was not appropriate right. actually really were department policy. But the bottom line is the exercise of discretion and departmental policy is what Hillary Clinton has to thank for the fact that she wasn't charged with a criminal offense. You mentioned James Comey. Uh, during one of his two infamous uh, press conferences, he said this regarding Hillary Clinton, although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. And I know much has been made of that expression, reasonable prosecutor, because a lot of reasonable prosecutors have come out and said, well, I'd, I would have done it. Well, and of course, there was a whole other question, which is at the time that that statement was made, James Comey was not a prosecutor, although he had been one. He was the FBI director. So that was a situation in which you have uh, a, a currently serving FBI director who formerly was a prosecutor stepping outside his lane to resolve a criminal case, which is a judgment that the department should have made based upon application sure. of department policy. And this is a situation where you have a special counsel who's a former FBI director who's in the position of being special counsel who has decided right. that uh, the traditional you know, prosecutorial factors uh, and the exercise of discretion would not be exercised by him, but ultimately had to be exercised by the Attorney General Bill Barr. Sure. It is pretty clear with the Mueller report, uh, there was no collusion, no cooperation with the Trump administration, uh, the Trump campaign, and the Russians. They, they tr the Russians tried, but uh, the Trump people didn't bite. Not well, an insignificant finding, by the way. Well, that's what it was all about. You know, we'd heard that there was Russia collusion. As it turns out, there was not. But then when it comes down to the obstruction stuff, that's more ambiguous. Uh, regarding, you know, it looks like this, was there intent, we don't know, we're not going to decide. And Democrats want to ignore the fact that there's ambiguous evidence. And, of course, prosecutors deal with ambiguous situations involving making a determination to exercise discretion one way or another in deciding whether or not to bring charges. All of that has, of course, been overlooked. And people look to the report and, and you know, Democrats have said, well, you know, obstruction, the evidence there is absolutely clear. I, you know, I beg to differ. And and not only do I beg to differ, which really doesn't matter, the special counsel himself indicated that he begs to differ. I mean, it, in his own words, the words that were quoted before the, the report was released right. by the attorney general, the obstruction piece presents difficult questions of law and fact, and I might also add policy as well. And discretion in that sense has been exercised both by the special counsel and later by the attorney general all of which Hillary Clinton has, in effect, ignored, notwithstanding the fact that she's been the beneficiary of that prosecutorial discretion 
several times, not only in connection with the email investigation, but going back to my own investigation, sure. Whitewater, and the firing of the travel office employees, where I made the judgment based upon the exercise of discretion that a properly instructed jury that was, would be evaluating a case sure. like this probably would not convict, and therefore I exercised my discretion not to prosecute her. Few know this subject better than you, Robert Ray. A real pleasure having you. Yeah, nice to be here. with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.